I'm joined here in London today with Dr. Mark Farber, editor and publisher of the Gloom, Doom and Boom report. Mark, thank you very much for joining my pleasure, us. My um, let's start by looking towards the end of this year. Yes. Are you seeing uh, gloom or boom, should we put it in terms of, do you think we see a year end rally or fallout given the risk of a fiscal cliff? Well, I think that the markets have peaked out already and uh, that they will decline roughly 20%, but it's not going to be in a straight line. So I'm looking for kind of a low end of October, early November, and then a year-end rally, but no new highs, and then uh, some more damage in 2013. <laughs> Now, what about those, those hot spots here in Europe that are really troubling investors right now? Spain, Greece looking very vulnerable. How real do you see the possibility of a Euro breakup? Well, it's a possibility. It's a political decision. The politicians, they want to keep it together. If uh, you would ask the question properly to the German public, do you want to pay for the Spaniards, for the Greeks and so forth, they would say no. But the questions are ne never asked in the proper context. They always uh, say that it's a disaster if the Eurozone breaks up and so forth. So I think that it will stay together for the time being. But um, in two or three years or five years time, probably there will be some countries that will have to exit. And what about if, if we move uh, stateside, how are you seeing the US right now in terms of recovery? And do you think we'll see uh, any help from the Fed before the end of the year? Well, I look at it this way. Basically, an economy is not uh, managed by fiscal and monetary policies in the long run. It can have an impact short term. And uh, since the lows in 2009, the S&P has risen from 666 to over 14, uh, 1400 and we peaked out at 1470 we're now at 1410 today so we had a huge rally because of QE 1 2 and 3 and so forth and the markets have now largely discounted further easing moves by the central banks if we look around the rest of the world where where right now is looking most attractive to you from an investment perspective well, this is the difference between economic activity and markets. Uh, four months ago, I think that the European markets such as Italy, Spain, France, Greece bottomed out. And uh, since then, they rallied between 30 percent and in the case of Greece, 65 percent from the lows. I don't think we'll make new lows. In Asia, I think the Japanese market looks relatively attractive and the Chinese market because the Chinese will also ease eventually. So these markets have underperformed other markets very badly and they may have some uh, benefit from the reallocation of money from the best performing markets, the Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, into these markets that haven't moved yet. And just lastly, uh, let's look towards next year then. Where are you seeing us heading towards <laughs> next year? Do you think we're going to see 2013 as a year of economic growth or stagnation? I think in general, people underestimate how weak the Chinese economy is. I don't think there will be much of a recovery in the US. And I think Europe will continue to be in recession. So economically, I think... Uh, the outlook is not particularly favorable. The outlook for corporate profits is negative. So I look for this correction of 20%. But as I said, in between, there will be rallies. But say from the recent highs to the lows, uh, sometimes next year, uh, we could easily drop 20%. 20% is nothing. OK, thank you very much. So we'll leave it for that. Thank okay. you. That was Mark Farber's Outlook for 2013. I'm Kimberly Lim in London, and this is Reuters.